Hi everyone, hope you're well. I'm going to start with the astrology headlines for today because I think it does make some sense of the craziness going on around us at the moment. Okay, so remember we are between eclipses, 19th of November to the 4th of December. So this would be expected to be a really electric, turbulent, dizzying, kind of challenging time because there are big shifts happening. So we would expect that to be happening in our own lives and in the world, and we are seeing that. And these shifts are, like I say, big ones linked to an eclipse. So the effects are going to reverberate down through the next few months. Um, also bear in mind, 1st of December, we have Neptune station direct. So this intensifies the Neptune energies. It feels good, we're going direct, we're moving away from some haziness and confusion around some big issues. Um, it's also a time when you should trust your intuition and use your imagination and creativity to express your thoughts and feelings. Um, you know, because that's what Neptune rules. And Neptune also rules liquids. So look out for any news or leaks or uncovering of information about various liquids in our world. Okay, then we have the new moon solar eclipse in Sagittarius on 4th of December at 7.42. If you're near the sea or can get to it, there'll be some really high tides that weekend, um, which would be really nice. It feels good to me. I know we're in the middle of turbulence at the moment, but being in Sagittarius, the sign of positivity, enthusiasm, hope, and truth, I mean, this can only be good. So let's see what comes up around those issues during the eclipse. Okay, cards I've pulled. First one, three of cups. So this is about good news, celebration, uh, maybe an achievement by three people, raising a toast, and just joy and kind of bubbling excitement represented by this card. Maybe also representing good times with like-minded people. So that's really positive. And that feels like the same energy of that Sagittarius theme of the eclipse. So good things to come. Um, I also pulled the Queen of Wands. She's telling us to... Um, have her personal qualities in our interactions with others this week. So what's she like? She is a fire sign. She is strong and steady, warm and confident, caring. She stands in the light um, and she's really uh, has great integrity. Okay, so another message coming through here, particularly linked to the Three of Cups, you may have thought, well, I'm not feeling very joyful or enthusiastic at the moment. This is a reminder that you might not feel like you'll ever have that again or will wonder how long it will be until you feel like that again, but it's a reminder that you will, okay? You will experience that pure, carefree, lighthearted joy and excitement and enthusiasm again, and you deserve it, and you are allowed to just be happy. And being minor arcana, I think it's closer than we think. It's closer than you think, okay? Um, my other message is just to remember to keep that daily clearing and releasing from your emotions and your energetic field. Let go of any stuck or stagnant low frequency energy. Um, I'm doing that daily and I feel like I need to be. I also felt like that storm in the UK, Storm Arwen, yesterday helped to shift a lot of stuck dark just flat energy in my aura and stop it kind of breaking through that because you know negativity comes in through our aura and then reaches our body so keep that clear um what else did i want to say one symbol here is the mistletoe that's been coming to me a lot to find out more about and share about during the week so i have made a separate video on that if you're interested in the symbolism of mistletoe but basically it's very um protective and was used in spells for love and peace and good fortune also linked into love and that energy of the heart chakra is the color green so i've been smelling lime a lot lately and this is a lime leaf which is a heart shape so it's often seen as a symbol of love and this green parrot here 
is um, linked to the heart chakra and that healing green energy. So have green around you this week. Look out for it as well. I've also put the Austrian flag to remind us to keep up the support for Austrians dealing with horrific uh, situations there in their country. So we are thinking of the Austrian people. Um, and final thing I wanted to say is this idea of electric storm. Um, the storm we had here in this country that I mentioned wasn't electric, but the storm, it's more a, a kind of psychic storm. This time between the eclipses is an electric storm of energies and forces and um that's what's electric about it so it made me think of the song electric storm another one by delta goodrum and some of the lyrics in that are i won't give up never never i won't be struck by the weather hold on with a will so strong tell me how do we find our way home in love's electric storm so worth a listen to that one and I'll leave it there for today. Have a good week and I'll be back again soon. Bye-bye.